Georgia football has completely dominated the college football landscape these past couple years. They've been killing it in college football recruiting, and their combined records from the 2021 and 2022 seasons is 29-1 and and of course winning two straight national titles. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what happened to the top five all-time recruits to commit and play for Georgia since 2010, and I'm going to be using the 24-7 sports rankings. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. Coming in at number 5, it is Jacob Eason. Jacob Eason was a 5-star recruit in the 2016 class and the number 5 player in the nation. He would be an immediate impact player for the Bulldogs as he would see immediate run as a freshman quarterback during the 2016 season. And he impressed many people and showed a lot of potential as in 13 games played, he threw for 2,430 yards, 16 touchdowns compared to 8 interceptions, and even a touchdown on the ground. He was expected to take his game to the next level for his sophomore year in 2017. However, because of an injury, Jake Fromm would take over as a starter, and he would never lose the job. After the conclusion of the 2017 college football season, Eason would end up transferring to Washington, but because of NCAA rules, he would have to miss the entirety of the 2018 year. Once 2019 came by, Eason was finally eligible to play college football again, and he was the starter for Washington. He had a pretty good season, as in 13 games played, completed 64% of his passes, threw for 3,132 yards, 23 touchdowns, to 8 interceptions. He would end up forgoing the rest of his college eligibility and declared his name for the 2020 NFL Draft where he was taken in the fourth round by the Colts. Ending his college football career with 5,590 yards thrown, 39 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. In his NFL career up to this point, Jacob Eason has been a backup quarterback and has played for a few teams. He's played for the Colts, Seahawks, Panthers, 49ers and is currently with the Panthers again for a second stint. In his NFL career up to this point, he has played in a total of two games where he has attempted 10 passes, has completed five of them, and has two interceptions. Coming in at number four, it is Keely Ringo. Ringo resides from the 2020 class in which he was the number four player in the nation, the number one cornerback, and a five star. He would have to wait his time to be an impact player at Georgia as he would miss the entirety of his freshman year during 2020 because of an injury. He was back in 2021 and he was a big impact for the Bulldogs as a starter in that secondary where in his first year as a healthy player, he had 34 total tackles, one tackle for loss, one sack, two interceptions, and even a touchdown in eight pass deflections along with a national title. In 2022, he would win yet again another national title. In 15 games played, he had 42 total tackles, two tackles for loss, two interceptions, seven pass deflections, and one forced fumble. He would end up declaring for the 2023 NFL Draft after a strong two seasons of play as a starter in the secondary for Georgia, where both years he was a top player in his position and on a top defense. He would finish his career as a two-time national champion, a second-team All-SEC member in 2022, and would finish with career totals such as 15 pass deflections, one forced fumble, four interceptions, and 76 total tackles. On to number three, it is defensive lineman Trenton Thompson. Thompson came from the 2015 recruiting class where he ranked as the number one player in the nation coming out of high school. Trenton Thompson in his college football career would end up being an immediate impact player for the Bulldogs. As a freshman in 2015, he had 25 tackles, 2.5 tackles for loss, and half a sack. He would truly break out in 2016, where he had 64 total tackles on the season, 9.5 tackles for loss, 5 sacks, and 2 pass deflections. His numbers would dip some into 2017 as a junior, where he was still a solid player, but he wasn't as strong as his 2016 self. He had 38 total tackles in 2017, three and a half tackles for loss, and one pass deflection. Some thought he really needed to come back for another season, 
at Georgia for his final year of eligibility in 2018. However, he would declare his name for the 2018 NFL Draft, officially ending his Georgia Bulldog career, in which he had 127 total tackles, 15 and a half tackles for loss, five and a half sacks, and three pass deflections. In the 2018 NFL Draft, Trenton Thompson would not hear his name called as he went undrafted. Ever since he went undrafted, he's had some opportunities in multiple different pro leagues. He's played with the Cleveland Browns shortly in 2018 as a practice player, the Arizona Hotshots of the AAF, the Washington Valor, the Edmonton Eskimos of the CFL, the Houston Roughnecks of the XFL, Team 9, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, and most recently, the Vegas Nighthawks. Moving on to number two, it is Nolan Smith. Nolan Smith comes from the 2019 recruiting class where he was the number one player in the nation coming out of high school. Nolan Smith would end up playing at Georgia for a total of four seasons. In those four seasons, Nolan Smith racked up 110 total tackles, 20 tackles for loss, 12 and a half sacks, one interception, three pass deflections, one fumble recovery, and three forced fumbles. His biggest year as a player came in 2021, where he was a national champion, had a breakout year with 53 total tackles, 8 tackles for loss, 4.5 sacks, an interception, and 3 forced fumbles. In 2022, this most recent year, he would win yet again another national title, but would miss a lot of time during the season because of injury, so ultimately didn't have his biggest season of play, but when he was healthy, he was ultimately a very good player. He declared his name for the 2023 NFL Draft, where he's been one of the biggest risers since his NFL Combine performance out of all the NFL Draft prospects. For the final player in today's video, coming in at number one of all-time Georgia recruits according to the 24-7 Sports rankings, it is Justin Fields. Justin Fields comes from the 2018 recruiting class, where he was a five-star and the number two player in the nation. He would only play one season at Georgia as a backup quarterback in 2018 to Jake Fromm, but he did see somewhat of a role as he threw for 328 yards, completed 69% of his passes, had four touchdowns and zero interceptions, while accounting for a total of 266 yards on the ground and four rushing touchdowns. After this one lone season as a Bulldog at Georgia, Justin Fields would transfer to Ohio State. In his first season as a Buckeye, Justin Fields became a top quarterback in college football. As in 2019, he played in 14 games for the Buckeyes, where he completed 67% of his passes, threw for 3,273 yards, 41 touchdowns compared to only 3 interceptions, while accounting for a total of 10 rushing touchdowns for 484 total rushing yards. In that season, he would end up finishing 3rd in Heisman voting. He was back with the Buckeyes again for 2020, where he had yet again another good year. He completed 70% of his passes, threw for 2,100 yards, 22 touchdowns compared to 6 interceptions, and even led the Buckeyes to a national title appearance, in which they would end up losing to Alabama. Justin Fields would end up declaring his name for the 2021 NFL Draft, where he would be seen as one of the best quarterbacks in that entire draft class and he would end his career for college playing for Georgia and Ohio State collectively, combining for a total of 5,701 passing yards, 67 career total passing touchdowns, 9 interceptions, and a total of 1,133 rushing yards and 19 touchdowns on the ground. He would end up being selected in the first round, 11th overall pick by the Chicago Bears. Justin Fields has played in the NFL for a total of two seasons, both of the Bears playing in a total of 27 games starting in 25 of them. He had a bit of a shaky year as a passer as a rookie in 2021, but he really improved his game in 2022, in which in his second year he threw for 2,242 yards, 17 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. While on the ground in 2022, he accounted for a total of 1,143 rushing yards, 8 rushing touchdowns, while averaging 7 yards per carry. He seems to be the franchise guy for the Bears long term, 
if he really keeps up this rate of development and keeps showing people the style of quarterback he really is. Well guys, if you made it this far in today's video, drop something down in the comment section below. What videos do you want to see in the future on this channel? And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly out.